Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can create a product in WooCommerce. I have a tutorial about every single kind of product you can create in WooCommerce and in this video I want to focus on creating a simple product in WooCommerce. I have this website over here and I have WooCommerce installed and if I go to the shop there are no products yet. So how can we create our first product? You hover over new, click on products or you go to the back end to products over here. I assume you have installed WooCommerce, of course, and then you go to products, add new. They both go to the same page, which is the page where you can create a new product. I call this product hoodie. It's really important that you give this a good name because if you say uh, product number one, it's hard for people to find your product if, they, if you do not say what kind of product it is. So I have a black hoodie, so I could say black hoodie. Or I can say polyester hoodie. I call this one hoodie or real man. Okay, then I can give a long description. So over here I can say, do you want to get noticed by ladies and buy this hoodie? This is a long description. So I want to add some uh, dummy text. So if you want to get that, go to dummy text generator and you can have some text nobody can sue you for copying their text on your website and you can create new paragraphs like that so it's a long description it will be below the product then if we scroll down and there's the short description this hoodie will make you feel like you are amazing and that is awesome because you are amazing. The hoodie only helps you to recognize that you are amazing. So, okay. So if we scroll down over here, we have product data. Here we can tell to WooCommerce and to WordPress what kind of product we have. So I want to focus in this tutorial on a simple product. A simple product is a product without variations. So there's a black hoodie. It's not white. You cannot choose a different color or a different size. It's only one product. So it can be a cap. It can be something that has no variables. So that's a simple product. It can be virtual. It can be a Skype session with me, or it can be an ebook you can download after buying, but this is a physical product. So the regular price is $29.95, but I want to have a sale, $19.95. We can also schedule a sale. So let's say for one week, it has a sale of $19.95. So you can click on schedule from today on until next Sunday. And then you can send an email to your email list or do uh, advertisements like only this week. This beautiful hoodie is just $19.95. So 30% uh, discount, something like that. Then we have the second tab over here, inventory. Inventory. We can give this an SKU number, a stock keeping unit. If you sell something that's already been sold on the internet, for instance, a Nike Woody Black. And imagine you're selling exactly this hoodie. Well, then you can find the stock keeping unit number somewhere over here. For instance, the product code or the ID, and then you can use that as a stock keeping unit. So people go to Foot Locker, they see it's out of stock, they search for this code and then they can find your product because you place it over here in the SKU. Well, I have my own uh, hoodie over here, so I can say 00001. Um, do I want to manage stock? So uh, let's say I have 20 of those t-shirts or uh, of those hoodies, I can say 20. And do I allow back orders? So imagine one person uh, buys 20 of these hoodies, uh, will it be sold out on my website or can people still purchase it? Only do I need to reorder them myself so I can send it to them as fast as possible. If that's the case, I can say yes, allow it, but notify the customer. So you can buy it, but be aware that this product is being purchased. Or do not allow, allow so you cannot order it when it's out of stock. Or allow it and say nothing and just make sure you buy those new hoodies again so you can send it as soon as possible to the customers. 
Then there's the low stock threshold. If there are only five left, I get an email and that will say there are only five left. Uh, so I need to repurchase those hoodies. And I can also say I want to let people only sell one individually. So let me uncheck it and let me publish this. Now I can take a look at the results. So right mouse click open in a new tab. This is what we have so far. Hoodie for real man, 1995 only this week and free shipping. If you want that, uh, you can say that that's the case. And you probably will not see this. This is something that has to do with the cadence theme. I use the cadence theme at this moment, the best free theme for WordPress. And it gives you some extra information over here. When you buy for over $50, then it should appear all that stuff. So if you want to adjust it, I have a tutorial about it, about cadence. You can watch it over here. Right now I leave it as it is. And you see there are 20 in stock and you can add like five of them, add them to the cart. And now I can view the cart and you see there are five. So let me go back to the product. If I say people can only buy one, so I go to inventory, inventory, sold individually. And I would go to the shop and to the product. It only says add to cart, so I can only buy one. So that's what you can do with that option inventory and check it. Then we have shipping. If there's a certain weight of this, and if you want to change the weight, you can go to uh, WooCommerce and then settings over here and you can change the uh, dollars to euros or kilograms to ounces, something else. So um, let's say point zero point four. And you can have dimensions. It has to do with the shipping. You can uh, do shipping costs based on the length, dimensions, and all that stuff. I have a tutorial about that too. You can watch it on my YouTube channel or in the description. Then the shipping class will we'll not talk about shipping in this video. As I said, I have a tutorial about that. So um, I leave this empty. And then there are linked products. You can have an upsell. So you can say, you know what, this hoodie is okay, but I even have a better hoodie for a real, real man. And then you can create a product. And if you select that product over here, it will say, hey, this is a great hoodie, but do you want to buy this one instead? And then you also have cross sell. And you will see that over here when you go to the cart, it will say something over here like, or if you view the cart, They'll say something over here like, hey, do you also want to buy this? And depending on what people buy, what they have in their cart, you can say, I want to cross sell this other product. And if you want to know more about everything over here, you can click on the question mark or hover over it and you can see more information. So then we have attributes. We'll not talk about it because then you can create different colors, different sizes, different whatever. Uh, we'll talk about it in the other video about creating a variable product. Then we have advanced purchase note. If people purchase this, you can say, this is such an awesome, amazing investment. Thank you. If you want to do that, you can do that. You can change the menu order. So if people buy like five different products, you can say over here, this one should be on top. And then another up product should have two and three. And then you see the order over here. Okay. Leave it empty and we can enable reviews. So if I go to the product, I scroll down, people can leave their review over here. Okay. So far so good. I update it and there's more to discuss. This is all fine. You also can add your own review over here and when you're logged in, but why would you do that here at the right? We have product categories. So if I go to the shop page, I see product categories only uncategorized. And if I click on it, I see all the products that are uncategorized, which is this one. So I can create a category. I can add a new one over here and I can call this one hoodies. Add new. Then I uncheck uncategorized because it has the category hoodies, but I can also create a subcategory. So I can say hoodies with prints like Justin Bieber on the back or on the front or over here, whatever you want. And then I can say the parent category of hoodies with prints is hoodies. So if you have a lot of products, you can create categories and subcategories, and that keeps the structure of your website beautiful. I update it and I want to uncheck this because uh, it doesn't have any prints. So it's not into this category. Then I scroll down. We can have product tags. 
So let's say booty. Then I click on add. I can say black. I can say winter. So anything that has to do with this hoodie, you can set it over here and it can be found better and people can navigate better through your WooCommerce website. Then there's the product image. Set product image and I will find it on my computer. So I click on upload files, select files. And over here I have the hoodie front. Beautiful. Click on open. And now, uh, of course, I can optimize it by copying the title and place it in the alt text. So if I would search for this, and I go, you see all those images over here. So yours could be over here when you optimize your images. What, what I just did like that. Set product image. Okay. Then we scroll down a bit. I don't need this. This has everything to do with my theme. Here is the product gal uh, gallery. So we can add more products. Uh, so we can add more images of the same product. So I click over here. I want to add two more files from my computer. The side, I hold command or control on the PC and the back. I open it. I add them to the gallery and then I can change the order if I want to. So now if I update it and I take a look, go to the shop. I see this image over here. If I click on it, I see it's a sale. When I hover over it, I see a better image. I can also click over here, zoom in, scroll a bit. And if I click on the right arrow on my keyboard, I go to the next image in the back, side, front. Also here I can click and I see those other images. So the category is hoodies. You can also have multiple categories, the title, the discount, the text from the cadence theme, which can be changed. Small uh, description, which is below the bigger description that is here below. Then we have additional information, the weight in this case, we can have reviews and that's how you can create your first simple product. So if you want to know how to create different kinds of products, uh, then you can go to the description of this video or keep watching until the end, you see the next video. And then I would like to say thank you. And if you want to learn from scratch, how to create a beautiful WooCommerce website, go to 30corp.com then to tutorials and then there is WooCommerce tutorial. Complete WooCommerce tutorial 2020. And if it's 2021 and you're watching this, then I have a new tutorial every year. There will be a new one and you can watch it over here. Quite a long tutorial where I will show you step by step how you can create a beautiful web shop. So that's it for this video. Thank you that you watched this video. Feel free to like this video, subscribe for more upcoming WordPress e-commerce related tutorials. And then I would like to say have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.